Up next, it is a welterweight showdown between the Nigerian nightmare Kamaru Usman and George Rush St. Pierre. Folks, the UFC middleweight champion, George St. Pierre, do not adjust your TV sets. He is back after a layoff that was almost four years. He returned in 2017 to challenge Michael Bisping for the UFC middleweight championship. He made the takedown an art form in mixed martial arts. We'll see what he has left here north of 35. George St. Pierre is one of the top athletes in the sport. Great speed, great strength, and extremely talented. He's got world-class skills on his feet or on the ground, and he has dominated so many guys with his wrestling. So as this knockout force makes his way to the octagon, Joe, this is not a guy you want to stand on a napkin in the center of the octagon and trade punches with. You get in a slugfest with this guy, more often than not, you're concussed, twitching on the canvas. You can be sure he'll be looking to make contact and find a home for those heavy hands early and often. Power for days, power in all of his strikes. Scary, scary addition to this division, and a guy who a lot of people believe will be an immediate contender. This guy has tremendous ground technique, and his ability to pass guard and get to a dominant position is elite. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. George St. Pierre is seven years his senior. The reach is identical. All right, now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. martial artist holding a professional record of 26 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, George Rush St. And now we're going to see his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 14 wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting at a broken baton from Lotto, Kamaru, the Nigerian nightmare, Uspa. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm Great. very excited. Good. And we are on the way. Oh, beautiful technique for there on that side kick. Effective strike there by Usman. Well done to block that powerful kick to the bottom. In on a double leg takedown here. He's gonna try to take the back, I think. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Inside control once again. Moves to north-south. Working from north-south again. It looks like he's trying to isolate that arm here. 
He's got his arm pinned down. It looks like the Kimura is locked in and tight for him. This is, could be it. This Kimura is getting tighter. He may be forced to tap here. Stunning. And there it is. Stunning, and he really made it look easy. He set up the submission and locked it in for the tap. Excellent job. Yeah, that is high-level grappling right there as he gets the win tonight here by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. And here we can see it again. Beautiful technique here on this Kimura. Perfectly applied for the tap. And finally, one more time, no choice but to tap. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. The decision is inside the octagon. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest. Uh, two minutes, four seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a Kimura. George Rush St. Pierre! All right, so George Rush St. Pierre get back to what he does best here tonight. Another dominant outing in a career full of them, and all coming in the biggest of situations. Even when his opponents seemingly think they know what's coming, few men have been able to stop GSP, and that was once again the case here tonight.